what is up guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to be talking about my first interview experience and it's crazy that i'm making this video because i never thought i'll be making a video like this but regardless of that i thought that this video could help out someone out there because there are a lot of people who haven't had their first interview yet i know that there are a lot of students out there and a lot of people who are close to having their interview and they are just waiting for their first interview so this video could probably help them to get an idea as to what to expect from an interview so guys before we get into what happened during my first interview i'll kind of build up to the interview so i found out that my interview was scheduled probably like 2 days in advance and i was pretty nervous to be honest since i found out that the interview was going to be coming up because it was my first time and i did not really know what to expect and so i immediately started preparing for the interview one day before the interview that is looked up some of the most commonly asked questions in an interview such as like introduce yourself or what do you know about the company why would you like to join the company and also where do you see yourself probably in 5 years down the line so i started preparing for all of these basic questions and since i am an engineer and i'm looking to get into the it space i knew that i would also be tested upon my technical knowledge so i ensured that my foundations were strong technically so what i did was i referred one of my old java books which i used to use back in the day and i started learning like all of the concepts and made sure that i was familiar with all of those so usually in an interview based on your resume the interviewer usually ask you which language you are most pro efficient with and that's the language based on which usually the questions are based on so what i did is even though i'm familiar with c and c++ what i did was to mainly focus on java because once you learn java you kind of get an idea about the other languages as well so i just mainly focused on java so i took out one of my old java books i made sure that i learned like all of the basic concepts also some of the basic programming questions which are commonly asked such as palindrome or maybe like patterns and all of these so I made sure to know about the different time complexities of the searching and sorting algorithms and also how those algorithms worked so these were something on which i completely focused on and i also made sure that i completely had an idea about the company and what work they do and what is their goals for the future so yeah one day before the interview i spent probably like 2 3 hours probably like learning all of this and making sure that i was thorough with all of these things and got to understand that an interview can be really unexpected you can't really expect what will be asked in an interview because there are so many topics out there and anything could be asked so you can just kind of do your best and the rest is kind of dependent on your luck so that is what i did i made sure that i gave my 100% in what i was preparing i wanted to ensure that i wasn't simply you know going through something i wanted to ensure that whatever i was learning i was 100% confident with and the rest whatever would be asked on the interview was kind of based on my luck and i would have to just somehow make it through the important thing which happens in any interview is they ask you questions based on your project so i did not have a very deep understanding about my project but i made sure to have like a fundamental idea about the working and also sufficient enough to be able to explain all of the different components which have been involved in my project so yeah i was done with my preparation and then i was like all right let's see what happens tomorrow and just leave it up to my luck and then the next day the interview was going to be starting at 1 i was sitting in front of the computer screen at 1220 and the reason i was in front of a computer screen was because it was a virtual interview i could take the interview from home so i was sitting there waiting for the interview and when it became one i noticed that i did not get a call so i i started to get a little worried as to you know okay why this thing hasn't started and i thought okay let me wait for some time i kept waiting and waiting and waiting and then it became 2 pm and the time slot for the interview was done and i started to get worried at this point i was like okay why hasn't the interview started so i decided to contact someone who had an interview on the same day and i found out that even their interview hadn't started yet so i just realized that the only thing i could do is wait and that in front of the screen i just kept waiting to get that call and the crazy thing is i got an email at 3:15 imagine guys from 12:20 to 3:15 i'm just sitting in front of the screen waiting for the interview and at 3:15 i got a mail saying that the interview has finally been scheduled and it will probably be starting within the next 30 minutes and then I kept sitting in front of the screen a little bit nervous but I felt a little bit better now because I had waited for a long time so I was kind of ready and I just wanted to get done with the interview and I got a call at 3:45 guys now I'll tell you how was the interview finally so during the interview the first thing which was asked like in any other interview was to introduce myself and to tell what I do apart from my academics when I mentioned that I go to the gym the interviewer also asked me like how how is it that I'm able to manage the gym as well as my academics the interviewer looked at my resume and he asked the language in which I was most proficient with and I said java 
and he also told me to explain some cases where i have used java in my projects so luckily one of my projects was related to app development and since you guys know most of the app development is done using java so it worked out well kind of added it in line with my proficiency in java and i've also done an internship in java which further you know strengthened the fact that i'm familiar with java so that kind of helped me out and to my surprise there were not really too many technical questions during my interview it was all mainly non technical questions the only technical questions which were asked to me was to explain like some of the basic concepts which are involved in java such as oops and what is polymorphism and there was only one question on which i was a little bit stuck at and that was to explain the difference between jdk jvm and jre i knew jvm very easily so i was able to explain it jdk is also something which i have always heard about but it wasn't coming on the top of my head so i told the interviewer i wasn't familiar with the other but the interviewer helped me out by saying java development kit and then it immediately came to my head and even jre which is java runtime environment automatically came to my head and it made it much easier and i was able to answer that question as well apart from that luckily i did not get any other technical questions i was asked as to what was my favorite sport and i told football and he asked whether i watch any sport i said cricket and he also asked me who was my favorite player and at that point i laughed a little bit because usually you guys know this kind of like a controversy kind of a thing which goes on where usually everyone's favorite footballer is either messi or ronaldo so i kind of laughed and i said messi and even the interviewer laughed i don't know why maybe his favorite player was ronaldo i do not know about it but yeah it was a pretty fun interview to be honest and, and i did not expect the interview to go that way and then the interviewer also asked me what i personally think is the most important position in a team while playing football because at the end of the day when everything goes wrong he is the one on whom everyone relies on so i mentioned that it's a combination of the goalkeeper as well as the defenders because they need to ensure that the ball doesn't come towards the goalkeeper but i mainly focused on the goalkeeper as the most key element in the team so the interviewer kind of laughed and asked me why am i saying that the most important player is the goalkeeper is it because i am a goalkeeper myself and i said no i usually play either midfield or forward so yeah overall the interview was very very peaceful and the final question in the interview was a scenario based question where he asked me if he had given me a project and i had a deadline of 7 days would i choose to do the project by myself or with a team of two members and i told him that i would definitely choose to work with the team because we could divide the whole task into smaller tasks and get it done quickly and and we could use each other's expertise to do the task much quicker rather than me having to do the task solely on myself and relying only on myself which would make it time consuming and difficult as well so guys this was the end of the interview the total duration of the interview was probably like 15 to 20 minutes on the whole i did not expect the interview to go in such a way but luckily somehow my luck was good that day and the interview went out really well so yeah this was my experience with my first interview but guys do not look at this video and think that you know your interview is going to always be this easy because you never know what could happen in an interview it's very very unpredictable there could be some times where you know you could be asked really complicated questions and you might not know the answer for any of those so yeah i do not look at this video and think that you know it's going to be very easy and you do not have to prepare and stuff like that because an interview is very very unpredictable anything can happen on the day of the interview it's just something which i wanted to add on because i did not want this video to be misleading making you think that you know the interview is always going to be this simple guys this is going to be the end of the video if you guys like the video please do drop a like on the video and share it with a friend who's probably going to have his first interview or is curious about how an interview is going to be taking place probably help them out as well thank you guys for watching this video and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and on this channel i share my lifestyle as well as informative content to help out you guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video